Carl, thanks for joining us. Good to be with you. This winter has been one for the record books. Uh, what has been the effect of the weather on the economy? Simply stated, when the weather is challenging, neither people nor products move very freely. On the consumption side, people are staying in their homes more. They're not going out to eat. They're not going to auto showrooms. And so sales in a lot of those sectors have been well off. In terms of production, it's hard to get raw materials to factories and get the finished products from the factories to the stores. And so manufacturers have been slowing down. And a combination of those two things has also held down hiring because if economic activity is slower, the need to hire more people has also been down. And then finally, on the construction side, obviously when it's very, very cold outside, it's difficult to get buildings started either for residential or commercial buildings. But isn't there a seasonal adjustment that's baked into the economic data? There are, but sometimes they can't completely capture the modulations of weather that you see in a given year. Most of the periods over which these seasonal factors are measured are only six or eight years long. So if you've had a series of milder winters, as we have here in the United States, when you get one very extreme fluctuation, you're not really going to be able to capture that with normal seasonal adjustment. So when you look at the sectors, which do you expect to bounce back most quickly and which do you expect to be affected for a longer period of time? I'm certainly hoping that the weather warms up someday. Uh, but when it does, there will be some pent-up demand that should be expressed fairly quickly. Those who've been delaying a quick vacation or an evening out with their family will be able to take it. Those who have wanted to buy a car will be able to get to a showroom and make that purchase. So we are expecting some pent-up purchasing to replace what was lost during the first part of this year. In other areas, though, housing in particular, I'm not quite sure we're going to recoup all of that because housing's issues are more than just the weather. There's been an important change in lending standards and as well mortgage rates are a lot higher than they were in the middle of last year. Has the impact been big enough to change your outlook for the year? The first quarter is certainly going to come in much weaker than we thought it would initially simply because of the weather. But the calculus for the rest of the year looks very promising. Again, there will be some pent up demand that I will expect in the second quarter. And again, all of the fundamentals behind the American economy from hiring to wealth creation to consumer deleveraging, all of those things look very favorable and should produce a very strong second half of the year. Well, thanks for your time, Carl. Good to be with you. Thank you for listening. For more insights from our economic research team, visit northerntrust.com slash views.